from the Jewish community who were the leaders that owned the factories. And to your point about, to me, this book is about the power of the human spirit to survive anything. So you think about this, and when we complain about some little stupid thing, you go, really? I mean, it, it's just amazing what these women accomplished. And, you know, as a writer, I always go to a, a place and get the feel of it. And I've been to Birkenau, and I've been to Auschwitz. And when I was reading the book, when you go to Birkenau, Auschwitz was chilly. But when you go to Birkenau, which is where the ovens were, when we arrived, it was at twilight. And the ceiling, do you ever go to a place and you feel the ghost? You feel the power and the passion that's happened there? And I actually said to my guide, because the buildings are still there. And I said to my guide, I said, oh my gosh, the ovens are still out in the woods. And she said, no, they're not. I said, yes, they are. They're right over there. I could actually see them. And they no longer exist. That's the power of that space. There's so much passion. So many powerful emotions were in that place. And I thought that once you got to the camp, I mean, I saw what she was doing and in introducing us to all the women in their normal lives and how systematically they were brought together. And at this place, that was the moment in their lives where they had to bond together and really make a difference. And I love the way that, and I like the fact that there was an underground, because everybody says, why didn't they fight back? There are more of them, but they had beaten them down to such a point where they were subhuman. What were they going to do? But yet there was an underground. I did not know that. They had no strength. They, they was, were starved. They were they starving. Were. But that there was actually an underground. The power, even though they were a small even group, though. they still felt they could they could do it. They could and make a difference. Power and I love the one woman group. that's so optimistic. I, I would hope that would be me, but you know, you hope that you would have the strength and character to do that. until you're tested. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know? You are cream puffs until you're tested.